Good morning. I have to admit, I did that thing where you think of all the things that you thought that you secretly hoped that you were going to get for Christmas and you didn't. And I ordered them for myself, starting with the most prettiest, most attractive tea kettle. Yes, to boil water. I'm going to show it to you now because it is just so elegant looking. Oh, so much more satisfying. So far, the main things I can see are that this detent is a little bit more of a clunk and it's a little bit easier to hear. This one is a very lightweight type of a button. This Mueller is so quiet where my Hamilton Beach makes a little bit of noise. I always thought I liked the noise of the Hamilton Beach because it lets me know it's about to finish. Plus, when the button clicks, it's a clunk. This one's very subtle. It's a clunk. The one thing that I had no idea, look at the scale for my water on this, the one thing I had no idea that I really never would use was how full it is. I never look at that. I simply open it and look inside. The other thing I did not realize was going to be a big deal for me was how easy this is one-handed operation where you can put it under the sink, bring it back, and close it. This one has got a lift-off lid, so you have to set it somewhere while you fill it and then put it back. It also sounds a little bit like the ramen pot I had in college, but it is very elegant looking. It actually came with its own pour through coffee maker, which we are going to grind some coffee this week and we've got to grind it kind of fine. And I wasn't really even going to use this. It came with it for no additional charge, but I was worried that I would have to buy a bunch of paper filters and I just didn't want to buy a bunch of anything. And this is wonderful because it actually has its own filter. I read a really long article, I'll leave a link below, to a man who tells all about the history of the pour through. He tells about the proportions, the temperature, the consistency, every little aspect of what type of paper filter you use. I mean, it's down to that much of a science as to how your pour through coffee is going to taste. So we're kind of excited to give that a try. But for now, I am sticking with my trusty Bodum French press. And I guess about a month or two ago, I did the thing that ends up happening where I broke the glass, but because it's glass, it's replaceable and you know that it's going to get clean. Just love this one. This one looks a little bit more upscale than our other one. Our other one's just the real basic, basic black plastic, but this one has a little bit of extra look to it. So I'm gonna head over here. Should've waited a little bit late. And the fridge has got a timer. We've got the Samsung fridge and there's a coffee timer already set up in there. This is for doing the pasta last week in 30 seconds. This is meat on the <laughs> on the grill and this is two 16 pound lobsters. These are these are the timers we have. I absolutely love the Samsung fridge. We also have the Samsung oven and stove. Love it as well. This one scratches a little bit more than my old GE so you have to be a little bit careful but the ability to have dual ovens is wonderful. My KitchenAid blends in with everything. There's my pasta maker I used last weekend, and I realized that I made a mistake in measuring when I looked back at the video, so I might try pasta again this weekend. We'll see, but I have the big flat one, the one for like a fettuccine size, and the one for a spaghetti size. And yeah, we have an ice maker because we use a lot of ice. So this is just, I guess what's happening is I'm treating myself to everything that I did not get for Christmas, and a new tea kettle was one of the things that I really needed. I know it's not the most American thing to have a tea kettle, but wow, they make such a difference. They are more, so much more cost effective and eco-conscious because you are heating this water instead of when you're heating water on the stove, the heat can escape out from the edges and around the side of the pot. This, you are only heating exactly what's in here, the elements heating that. You're not you're not losing any heat at all. Any heat from the element is rising up through, not just rising up off the stove. So that makes it great. The other thing that makes it great 
is that when these are done boiling, the button clicks. It just goes click and you can hear the click and you know that it's done. Of course, on the stove, you do have the nice feature of having that wee, you know, if you've got one of those kettles that screams, that's good. This one is going to go to the workshop and it will just retire. It's had a very, very good life. <laughs> I'll scrub it up some more before I take it. But it just, it's time to go. We, we started thinking that it wasn't releasing like it should, that the button was maybe worn out and it wasn't popping when it was finished boiling. But at the workshop, if we're using it just for hurricane times, then, you know, that that's not really going to matter. The new one, like I said, the button's a little bit quieter, but I like it. And we said, if we don't like the logo on it, because we really don't have logos around here, we could take a marker and cover over it, or I might just take a little bit of, oh, I might take some of the copper scrubby and scrub the logo off. I'm not big on having the names there, although this name, survived. <laughs> that one's just a little bit bright, but I think it just looks a little bit more elegant than my old tea kettle. The other great thing is that you don't have to worry about overboiling and you don't have to worry about leaving a tea kettle on the stove and have it boil over because when these are done, they click off. It's just wonderful. So I think this one just looks a little bit more elegant. It blends in with the appliances a little bit better. We don't have stainless, so it just looks a little bit more natural. It just kind of blends in there on the counter. Wow, what a bunch of what a bunch of fruits and vegetables. It just looks like it goes with everything. So thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful. I hope you actually treated yourself to all of the little gadgets that you didn't get for Christmas that you secretly wanted. I have a few more coming. I have a spiralizer coming for my KitchenAid and I also have a vegetable, like a food processor attachment coming for the KitchenAid. Now that I know how easy it is to attach things and use this, oh my gosh, and what a space saver. Plus, you know, cleaning Cleaning a food processor is a pain in the neck and the attachments that go onto here are going to be so much better. I also did get the juicer attachment and I can't wait to use it. All right, time for my coffee. Woo! <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you after my coffee.